Hey everybody, uh, after some time being away, I am back with Jen. Hi Jen. Hey, what's up? Uh, so today we're doing another Cooking with Bry Guy. We arrived at the uh, market to get what we need. Hey, I, I won't take you in there because we're going there pretty quickly, right? We're gonna, we're gonna be efficient yeah, and fast. Yeah, we're just trying to be efficient and fast. I was just amazed by this thing here again. Like you can close all doors and they just close. <laughs> I'm like, I can't deal. All right, that's all. So one of the cool things about her house is that she has a homegrown, what would you call it? Is it a homegrown garden? Yeah, it's a garden. That is kale, right? Mm -hmm. Rainbow kale? That's shard. This is um, kale. That's this kale is, for sure. This is kale, this, this is dino kale, this is curly kale. Cabbage, purple cabbage. broccoli. All right, so this is purple scallions. Okay, so now, now we're doing cilantro, cilantro, or some people call it capsicum in Australia. Oh. All right, what are we doing again? We are, we have this, this here because we're making uh, Korean barbecue ribs. We're gonna make some cucumber kimchi, fresh cucumber kimchi, um, some zucchini, and some rice. The first step is to get some rice going. Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna do four cups of rice. But today, because I'm gonna make special rice for you guys, we're gonna add a, just a little bit of this wild sweet rice. Uh huh. It's actually supposed to be really good for you grain wise. The first thing that you have to do though, especially with rice from like this, is you have to wash it. See how it's like all murky? Mm. You can't even see my hand. Like, it looks like arroz con leche. And then I also like the massage my rice. Oh, because it's stressed, right? All right, so what we're doing now is, now that the rice is cooking, we're gonna marinate the beef, um, just so that while we're doing the kimchi, the beef is also marinating. What are we using for the marinade? Soy sauce, sugar, some sesame oil, garlic, pepper, and some garlic powder. Do you That's just that. eyeball it, or do you have a specific amount that you use? Oh, no, I just eyeball it. It's all about, you You have to taste it, so. Mm, there you go. You, I'll let you taste it to see what it's supposed to be. All right. Folks, please add water to add your water. soy sauce. And actually, if you like, I like adding fresh garlic, too, so. In addition to the garlic powder. I'm, I like really? garlic. Yes, I love That's I a lot of garlic. But I don't you gotta keep, like you gotta keep the vampires away, right? I guess, or just, it's good for you. Why not, right? So we're adding. So add water. our water, so just a little bit of sauce. Dilute it, basically. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We are tasting it now because the sweet and salty balance. So <laughs> all I've done so far is soy sauce, water, and a little bit, and some sugar, and it's just a matter of like finding like the balance. You'll know what it is once you try it. Oh yeah. It's just like it's like a it's not too it's salty. It's like even. It's very even. Very yeah, even. yeah. And then that's what, after that's when you start adding in like. Everything else. Everything else. So. She is going okay, to put the, the beef. I know. I'm in touching here. beef for you guys. I don't usually like oh. touching the meat, but it's for a, you, I shall. Is it a texture thing? It is. It's like the slimy, gooey, and also for sanitary reasons. I'm just. Okay. I, I feel you. Yeah, we're gonna do some fresh cucumber kimchi with, with cilantro. That's like my favorite. You don't have to, but. Um, so the next steps here again is just to <laughs> cut the vegetables, uh, and you can take that off. <laughs> kimchi maker here. <laughs> I realized halfway, I'm like, I don't know what the next ones are. <laughs> I bought the English, I think they're English cucumbers, but yeah. you don't have to worry about the skin. We've got garlic, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, I like both again, sesame oil, soy sauce, um, a little bit of vinegar, and then um, this is the Korean red pepper powder. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is uh, slice your cucumbers. It's not too thick, not too thick. All right. All right, so we'll cut the cucumber, we'll dice the, we'll uh, the mince. garlic, mince, that's what I meant. Mince. Then you want to um, brine your um, cucumber. The key with making like uh, kimchi and stuff like that is to like massage the flavor into it basically without like breaking the kimchi, without like, you know, destroying it, mm -hmm. um, but to massage it as well. Get your cucumber, girl. <laughs> so what am I putting in first? So we're gonna do the salt. And then how much is it, oh. Um, just enough. <laughs> Just enough, you don't want to make it too salty. It's basically to brine it. So that it kind of, so you want to mix it up. And basically what the salt's gonna do is gonna bring out like, it's gonna make it kind of watery. Which mm -hmm. is good, you want a little bit of water. See how like gentle he's being? Like you don't have to be that gentle. Oh. You can like, okay. get, get in, in there. Get in there, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, have some fun with it. Next up is let it sit for like 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it. So uh -huh. you're cutting those sort of in like yeah, slices? Yeah, so just like slices, cause we're gonna put these on the grill. So. Okay. So then, uh, what are you using as a seasoning for it? Super, super simple. We're on um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh -huh. and a little bit of olive oil, and that's it. And all to taste, basically. Yes. All right, so the next thing is putting the pepper in here, right? Yep. Um, and uh, it's to taste, again, it if you on didn't how know. Spicy, <laughs> how spicy you want it. I don't know like how spicy you want it, so mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna put this in there. You're gonna massage it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get all our veggies in before we continue seasoning. All right, so I'm going to cut up our cilantro next and our scallions. Um, so the next thing is adding the soy sauce, yeah? Yeah, we add some soy sauce. To taste. Yeah, not too much because you already add salt too, and soy sauce is salty. And then massage it, right? Yeah, so. keep going, keep going. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna add some vinegar. Some recipes say not to do that, but I actually like it with a little bit more of a tang, so. The thing that you have to have is sesame oil. It makes it like delicious. Hmm. How is it? It's good. I feel like it's a salt, too salty almost now. No. No? I don't think so. And here you go. Mmm, delicioso. <laughs> so the final step and what will be paying off is the meat. Yes. So, so um, the meat's been marinating now for definitely maybe an hour? I would say about an hour now. Yeah. And that's why we did it in the bag too, because it'll help marinate quicker. Okay. So. Kept on moving it around throughout. Yeah, just to get equal, equal marinade. Now, I will admit, normally I do not do the grilling. Don't laugh at my grill skills. Here we go. And there's that sound. Sizzles. Safety. It's gonna cook. We're gonna do what, five minutes on each side? No, there's thin, so maybe three. I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna close and pray. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, because it's, it's beef though, so you don't have to cook it all the way. I would not, you don't want it to be too tough. But I'm, I'm Hispanic, you know, I do carne asada. Okay, so then definitely have to have some pink in the middle, which is what we want, so. Oh my goodness, I can already smell this. It smells <laughs> so good. <laughs> it does, it does. I it's all that sugar you put. You it put is not, I did not put that much sugar. <laughs> it's literally just a little bit for taste. I promise, I don't usually cook with sugar. You can always substitute all, any of these ingredients. Here's the beef, the rice, cucumber, cilantro kimchi. Cilantro kimchi, raw zucchini. What, oh. what are we calling this dish? <laughs> this is not... The Jen special. The Jen makes what she wants to eat special. Hey, I'm you down know? with that. All right, it's time to taste this. Let me, one thing at a time, I'm gonna try this rice. And you're using chopsticks, I'm so proud of you. Gotta, gotta be cultured, you know? All right, then the uh, kimchi. Mm. So good. The more I marinate, the better, right? Mm -hmm. Bite on this, uh, that lemon juice. Yeah, did we tell him we put lemon in? Oh, just kidding. We didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we added, we ended up adding uh, lemon juice to the uh, zucchini. Yeah. And it, it is, it's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Now, with my barbaric hands. Yeah. <laughs> She's a wiggly little worm. Yeah. Is it oh, good? Mm -hmm. How do we, how's it look on the inside? Did we overcook that one a little? No, this one's, I think Pete. this is perfect. Oh, it's perfect, yeah. Yeah, mine's like that too. Jen, high five. Boom. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Jen, thanks for having me over. No, thanks for coming. Cheers.